All right, so I'm just going to do a cabinet and I'm going to UV it. All right, so let me get a uh, cube specifically for you, Shade. So go like this, take this, Control E. Oh, I mean, Control D. Control D, push this out, scale this in, push it in right here, scale this. Go to faces. Select this face, control E. Go to offset. Push it in like this. And I can press Q to quit. R, and we can scale this up or down. I think it's like this. Then I'll just do another control E or G. Push it in until it can't see it no more. I'll just pull it back a little bit because that's what it looks like in the reference. Select. Select this, select the edges, shift right click, bevel edge. Two more, quit. And we have this. Um, this. Looks like a wood cabinet right here. Since this is wood, I'm just going to, I mean, since we're just going to see this part, I'll delete the back. And you know what? Also, I'll delete the back on this. We don't necessarily need to, but I'm just doing it just because it might help a little bit more when you do the UV. So we have this, some great, you know what? I think I'll combine these two. So I'll shift, right click, uh, combine. And this is a uh, wood, wood cabinet, right? So we have this right here. I'm gonna go to UV editing. All right, since it's all one piece, I'll just do UV and then I'll do automatic. So if I select this right here, we see what it's doing. Actually, I'm going to double click on this and I'll go to UV automatic. So what I did was I double clicked on this, did a UV automatic. So it's just getting these faces right here. I go like this. Let me see what it's doing. Another thing we can also do is this. We can um, select this. Well, I can select this whole thing, right? And um, look at the direction it's in. Now, you know what, just to keep it easy, we'll just do this. We'll keep it in UV automatic. All right. So I'll just do the whole thing. Select it, UV automatic. Those look like squares on top. Those look like squares facing it. But the one thing I'll do is this. If I go to this one right here and I go to edge and I double click on the parameter, it'll well, maybe I should go to this one. Oh, no, it's getting those inside faces. Yeah, let's leave this as it is. So we're just going to put the texture right on top of this, right? So it should uh, just look nice and woody on over, over everything. So I'm going to go to image, UV snapshot, or the camera right here. Let's move this out. It's gone wood floor. Let me do wood. C A B I N E T. Wood cabinet. Or UV. It's in my desktop folder. 2048 Targa. Apply and close. Cool. All right. So now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go over here. I have a new uh, window. Oh, wait, give me my old window. Um, so we'll go to textures.com. All right, I think I'm already in here. Let me go here. Let me log in real quick.
All right, so we're at textures.com. I also can go to Google Textures. I'm just going to go to wood. So where's wood? Wood. Why is wood not here? Home. Step home. Hmm. What's supposed to be here? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's on something else. Um, craft design? No. It's doing something different. Library? I don't know why I don't see wood. Um, hmm. Strange, okay. Uh, so let me just go to wood. wood texture and go over here and go to images. Um, there's definitely supposed to be wood there, but uh, I'll go to image size, go to extra large. I'll get one that looks like the reference. Kind of looks like uh, this one. It's perfect, right? And I'll do save image as. And I save it to my class folder. Sorry, so save it to this folder called it cabinet wood. And now go over here and find it. Go to my desktop. Where's it at? 3D animation class images. All right, so I have this right here. So I'm going to go to my wood cabinet UV, right click, open with Photoshop. And here's the one I'm going to use, right? Let's take this, drag it in. Now scale it down, right? Because I'm just imagining what it's going to look like. You know what? I'll just scale it down to about this size. The size of this right here. Perfect. Double click. Then I'll do a control C, control V, right? So I have another one. And I'll place this one on top. I'll select them both. Control C, control V. So now I have this. Now I have all these right here. What I can do is I can right click and I can do um, merge layers. So now they're all one layer. Not necessary necessarily, but now it's just one thing instead of the four things. And I can just do control C, control V. And I just copy it over. And I'm just going to place this over all my tiles. Just make it easy as possible. Control C, control V. And I have this. Control C, Control V, and I'll just put this right here on top just to cover up the rest of these. Then I can also do one more, Control C, Control V, just to get this little side area piece. Then I'm done, right? I'll just go to File, Save As, um, Wood Cabinet UV, then I'll do underscore V01, Save, oh, I meant to save it as a JPEG. Save as. Let me go to JPEG via one. Save. Save it as 12 maximum. Cool. Oh, let me lower this. Now I'm back here. Now I'll go over here to my classic again. So we have our cabinet right here. Right click, assign new material, Arnold, ES yeah, standard surface, wood, cabinet, go to color, file, 
Click on this. I think I put in images, right? Images. We'll cabinet UV01, JPEG. And remember, I do four, five, six. Now it's there. Perfect. Now you can go ahead, place it where it needs to go. And since you already did one, you can do the little finesse and control D, move this over here. Now you got two cabinets. And if you want it to not look like identical, we can just press E and then J to rotate 90 degrees. So it's not like exactly like this when it's next to it. And there you go. Just get yourself a handle from over here or something. Over there, place it on there. And then place this around your uh, seam. So now you have your wood cabinets done. And it's easy.